chicken salad. My lunch. Dating back to half an hour ago, it originated at Frank's Deli down on 3rd Street. With ranch dressing, it tastes good in my mouth. What? What's that? We've already started rolling. Oh, for the love of... Africa. Land of majesty. The mountains. The savannas. Africa is truly a land of many contrasts. Here, on the conifer heathlands of the dark continent, the struggle for life is at its most brutal. Over twenty thousand different species coexist here, striving for survival. The daily contention with the territory's dominant carnivores can pose a daunting task. Danger lurks everywhere. Some of the world's most deadly predators are indigenous to this remote area. Predators like skeletons, karate masters, reckless downhill skiers, and the African leopard bounding across the landscape. Beautiful. But we are not here today to discuss Africa. Sorry to have confused you. I just like it. Today is only an introduction. An introduction to the fight or flight instinct, which will be presented in more detail on November 11th. Today, we briefly tantalize you on that topic. But first, a word from our sponsor. This National Geographic program is brought to you by Kick Cereal. The alpha male makes clean the carcass of the cereal box. The lesser dominant member of the pack must wait for the scraps. We now return with a preview of what will be discussed on November 11th. The topics that will be discussed in the main presentation will be Walter Cannon His study at the elite and prestigious Harvard Medical School His studies on the relation of swallowing mechanism with the motility of the stomach The hindbrain as displayed here by Grunga out for a daily walk when he spots a deadly threat to himself. How this threat to Grunga triggers nerve cells to fire in his brain. <laughs> Victorious over his fallen foe. Grunker performs an exultant howl, obviously feeling accomplished from killing the pitiful, non-threatening garden snake. When a new threat presents itself, Grunker follows in the tradition of his proud warrior ancestors and gets his hindbrain the hell out of there. Grunker was able to run eight hours to finally escape the beast, thanks to the effects of fight or flight which you'll hear more about on November 11th. But now, Grunga is suffering from severe exhaustion and is ready for a much needed rest. Due to his distorted thinking, Grunga runs toward the moon for safety. Grunga is an idiot. If Grunga had understood more about the fight or flight instinct, he may have been able to avoid his terrible fate. The important thing, though, is we are still alive and able to attend the main presentation in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned, and you will be introduced to your hosts. For now, I bid you farewell.